What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to better understand vestibular reflexes and responses so that you can treat your patients and also pass the NPTE. Your balance system is made of three parts, your vestibular, somatosensory, and vision. However, your body has a lot of reflexes and responses built in to help when those systems sense a problem. The vestibulo-ocular reflex is when your eyes focus on a target as your head is turning. So what your body has to do is as your head turns right, your eyes turn equally in the opposite direction to maintain gaze fixation on that target. This can occur in the vertical direction as well, and it's really important for both stability and gaze fixation. In response to really slow or small perturbations, your body will produce an ankle response, which is basically when the muscles of your ankles contract in a certain way to help you maintain your balance. And this is trainable to some degree. For bigger perturbations or when you have a smaller base of support, you'll need a bigger response. In this case, you have your vestibulocolic reflex, which is a contraction of your neck muscles to keep your head upright. Even if you do end up falling, your head's gonna be protected. Then you have your vestibulospinal reflex, which is basically the rest of your body trying to stay upright. And this can happen with a couple different strategies. So you have the hip strategy, where your hips move the opposite direction of your head. There's the suspensory strategy, where you lower your center of gravity to maintain your balance. And you have the stepping strategy, which is where you step out to widen that base of support and throw your arms out to help catch your balance. The reason these responses are really important to understand is because if your patient has a vestibular or balance deficit, you'll want to practice them in your treatment until they become automatic. This is a huge part of fall prevention. And if you combine them with cognitive tasks, then they're even more effective and long lasting. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy. Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. If your head starts falling to the left, then the right side of your neck contracts to keep your head upright and try to protect it against concussion or other injury. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or you can drop me a comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying. Go change the world.